Hello, my fellow broker aristocrats, and thank you for joining me this second day where I am attending the Gastroenterology and Hepatology Conference hosted by the David Geffen School of Medicine here at UCLA. I'm having a great time. It's here at the Beverly Hills Hilton, and I am taking notes and trying to learn if I can share some things about good digestive health that isn't going to cost a dime. So I can tell you the food is great, the people are great, and uh, stick around. We're going to talk about two more tips to make sure you're taking care of yourself while living on a budget. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, my fellow broker aristocrats, so it's the second day of the conference and I'm taking notes and I'm thinking about what I want to share with you that you can do that's uh, cheap, affordable, or free that can dramatically improve your health. And I have to say, because I happen to be doing it, uh, I would say that the lecture the first day where they talked about the relationship between the digestive tract and mental health was pretty interesting. They talked about how calming the mind and using a meditation uh, technique has been found to dramatically improve digestion. Now, from a scientific perspective, we think that it actually has an, an embryological component in terms of embryological development. What that means is that when we began to develop in our mother's wombs, the tissue that went on to become the brain, part of that tissue went on to become the digestive tract. And so a lot of the chemicals or neurotransmitters we see in the brain, we're also seeing in the digestive tract. And there is certainly a relationship between mental health, stress, anxiety, and how, how well we digest our food. So I can tell you because I started recently doing transcendental meditation that having adopted a meditation technique has helped me. It's helped me relax, have less stress, uh, sleep better. Of course, you don't have to do transcendental. You can do something through your church or your community. There are certainly other forms of meditation. Uh, but they certainly talked about that here, that the clinical research does show that uh, meditating every day actually can relieve certain types of uh, digestive health challenges, even serious digestive, digestive health challenges. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, they talked about doing it 20 minutes a day. If you're doing something more formal like transcendental meditation, it's usually done in the morning before you start your day for 20 minutes and then uh, later in the day or early evening for 20 minutes. And it just sets the tone for the rest of the day. So I thought that was nice and I would share that with you. And then the second thing that was covered had to do with whether or not you could learn things about your own digestive health by looking at your bowel movement every morning. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. So how often should we have a bowel movement? Well, most doctors agree that we should have a bowel movement about once or twice a day. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you're going to have it probably twice a day or three times a day. And you want it to be well formed. If you have trouble or straining, if there's, uh, you can, uh, uh, Ask your, you can uh, look at these things as possible risk factors for a s more serious problem. For example, if you're not having a bowel movement every morning, uh, that could be a problem with your health. If you're straining, even when you have a high fiber diet, that could be a problem. For example, you'd want to rule out whether or not there's something going on. Uh, they might have you do a, uh, a test to see if, uh, there's any blood in the stool, we're looking for polyps, uh, anything that could be blocking the colon, preventing you from having a healthy bowel movement. This is why when a person doesn't have a bowel movement for a couple of days, you really want to talk to your doctor. Uh, they would first check to see if there's any uh, blood in the stool. If they do find blood in the stool, they might go ahead and order a colonoscopy to rule out uh, something more serious like a polyp or a tumor that's causing a blockage. And uh, that might be one of the reasons why a person doesn't have a bowel movement every day. Another reason and the most common reason why people don't have a bowel movement every day has to do with just not eating adequate amounts of fiber. We usually want people to consume about 30 grams of fiber a day. In terms of what your poop should look like, if your poop is coming out and it's got pellets, little ploppy pellets, 
that's usually an indication that the person is dehydrated or they're not eating enough fiber. Certain medications can cause uh, those types of problems with our dig digestion. So you want to talk to your doctor and find out if the medication you're taking is uh, possibly the problem. Uh, high amounts of calcium that people can sometimes take when they have acid reflux may cause the problem. So again, you want to talk to your doctor and make sure it's not some type of medication you're on. If you have extremely loose stool, diarrhea, if you're going more than five times a day, that can be a problem and you want to talk to your doctor about that. It can be an infection or it could be some kind of inflammation in the colon. We also ask people when they do look at their bowel movement every morning to check to see if there are food particles. If there are food particles in the stool, that can be an indication you're not digesting your food properly or you're not chewing your food properly. So if you see that, it could be an indication that you're in eating too quickly and you're not chewing your food. You also want to look for mucus or strings that could indicate an infection in the digestive tract. And really, you just want to make sure that you are having an easy bowel movement, no strain in the morning, and that it is well formed. Or as Dr. Oz likes to say, it should be a C shape or an S shape. All right, my fellow broke aristocrats, that's it for the two tips I have for the from uh, the David Geffen uh, uh, School of Medicine's conference on gastroenterology and hepatology. Uh, check your poop every morning. Uh, eat plenty of uh, fiber so that you have a healthy bowel movement. Speak to your doctor if you see any abnormalities and make sure to uh, practice a healthy meditation technique every day to improve uh, your uh, mood and reduce stress and it can uh, definitely help with your digestion. And stay hydrated. That was the last thing they said, that dehydration could also lead to uh, constipation. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.